Portland is, of course, one of the top vegan friendly cities in the country and an event this coming weekend aims to be a dream come true for vegans, vegetarians and foodies alike. In tonight's Northwest Grown, the first ever Circle V Food and Drink Festival will highlight collaborations from several teams of two who have created a new dish and some special guests stopped into our studios to give me a taste of what to expect. So I have been producing vegan collaborative events since 2017. And most of my events are dinners, um, and I've always wanted to scale up to produce a full-blown festival. And I'm sure you get this all the time. People might be like, what is Venezuelan cuisine? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we still get a lot of people who have never had anything remotely close to Venezuelan food. And that's exciting for me because I get to introduce them fully. And a lot of people don't know that we're vegan. Okay, Liz, let's get to you. Um, so you are with Miss Tacones, which is Mexican cuisine but a little bit more than Mexican cuisine. Yes, um, our restaurant is basically a mix of Mexican and LA cuisine. Our owners uh, dedicate so much passion and culture to the dishes. Um, we basically recreate our traditional dishes. Now let's talk about your dish. So I was like, okay, I want people to know arepas for sure, but definitely with like a bolder flavor of what Mexico can be. So he suggested we do a la Jalisco, which is um, the sauce style, just the, the flavors that are incorporated in there are just Jalisco style. And then this sauce that you see here is really fun too, because that those are both of our restaurant signature sauces. So for mis tacones, that's their cashew cream based sauce. And for me, that's my wasacaca. Yeah, so that's um, just this traditional sauce we make in Venezuela. It's our traditional like barbecue sauce. Ooh. It goes on everything, every time we have a family barbecue. So that's my signature sauce. So we combine them and that's like, that's our dish. I think as Paula said, it's, this is very special. It unites us. Okay, let's give it a try. Yeah, so the arepas are made out of corn. Um, so they're also gluten-free, which mm -hmm. is awesome. Yeah. Um, they're made out of corn and they're typically grilled, um, but there's many ways to make them. Bold flavors, like you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. And then the saltiness of the cheese your collaboration sauce. I hope you guys bottle this up. And the fact that it does mimic chicken, I will say as someone who doesn't eat vegan food often, mm -hmm. um, to me this does look and feel like chicken and then the flavors that you brought out are so, so good. Oh, this is really good, I'm gonna take another bite. Yeah, it was so good. The Circle V Portland Festival, it's this Sunday at Castaway Portland. Among the 10 collab dishes, there are eight savory, two desserts, plus t grazing table drinks, some non-alcoholic ones. There are two sessions, one at noon, the other at three. Tickets $125, you can get a lot of food, and a portion of ticket sales will be donated to Growing Gardens and Urban Gleaners. It was really good food, you guys. Okay, we don't know if it's good, Adam, I, because you once again, yeah, nothing here. Didn't bring you guys back. were in the newsroom though because we did have some at that okay. time. Sorry. Always an excuse. Okay.